discovery of two new planets raises more questions. Astronomers suggest solar systems like our own may be somewhat more common. The discovery of a Jupiter-like planet and another about the size of Saturn has astronomers suggesting that solar systems like our own may be common. The newfound worlds both appear to be gaseous and are about 80% the sizes of Jupiter and Saturn. They orbit a star that is about half the size of our Sun and is dimmer and much cooler. This is the first discovery of a multi-planet system that could be similar to our solar system, said research team member Allison Crocker, a Dartmouth College graduate now studying at Oxford University. The newfound solar system, about 5,000 light years away, is more compact than our own. The larger planet's orbit is 2.3 times as far from its host star as the Earth is from the Sun. Jupiter, in comparison, is 5.2 times farther from the Sun than Earth. But there are a number of interesting similarities. The ratio between the masses of the two worlds is about 3 to 1, similar to the Jupiter-Saturn ratio. The smaller planet is about twice as far from its star as the larger one, just as Saturn is roughly twice as far away from the Sun as Jupiter. The two worlds orbit their star in 5 and 14 years, similar to the two to five orbit ratio of Jupiter and Saturn. The planets were found using a technique called gravitational lensing in which light from the faraway planets is bent and magnified by the gravity of a foreground object, in this case another star. The technique has been used to find three other Jupiter mass planets, each around different stars in the past. This is the first time we had a high enough magnification event where we had significant sensitivity to a second planet and we found one, said Scott Gardy, assistant professor of astronomy at Ohio State University. Formation theories, even though their star emits only about 5% as much light as the Sun, the two planets are thought to be about the same temperatures as Jupiter and Saturn because of their tighter orbits. The temperatures are important because these dictate the amount of material that is available for planet formation. Most theorists think that the biggest planet in our solar system formed at Jupiter's location because that is the closest to the Sun that ice can form. Saturn is the next biggest because it is in the next location farther away where there is less primordial material available to form planets. Theorists have wondered if gas, giant, gas giants and other solar systems formed in the same way as ours did. This system seems to answer in the affirmative. The leading theory is that a rocky protoplanet forms first, then if it gains enough mass it attracts a shell of gas. Another idea is that the giants collapse, form a knot of material much in the way a star forms. Other worlds. It's also plausible that 
there could be rocky planets around the star in orbits similar to Venus, Earth, or Mars. And icy worlds like Neptune might exist in the system's outer reaches, the researchers said. There are now about 250 known planets beyond our solar system, and some 25 multiple planet systems. Among those are setups with rocky worlds just a few times the mass of Earth. While most planetary systems around other stars substantially differ from our solar system, a series of recent detections have brought us closer and closer to home. said Martin Dominic, a University of St. Andrews researcher involved in the discoveries. Sooner rather than later, someone can be expected to discover an Earth-mass planet, a planet similar to size to the size of the Earth orbiting a star other than the Sun. And yes, in my father's house are many mansions. <laughs>